what's up everyone welcome back to my kitchen it's your girl toya and today's menu will be cooking up this delicious smothered turkey wings you'll absolutely love let's jump right in here i have my turkey wings already washed and clean and pat dry and here are my seasoning i have some paprika garlic powder seasoning salt onion powder i have some chicken seasoning and some parsley flakes feel free to use any combination blend you like i'm just going to go ahead give this a good mix to combine i'm going to add a generous amount of this season mix onto my turkey wings after which i'm going to go ahead and massage the seasoning into the turkey wings properly so it can adhere to the turkey wings and give it a nice flavor you want to make sure that you massage well and i'm just going to cover and set aside for about 30 to 40 minutes the longer it sits the better it gets but if you don't have that much time you could go ahead and place this right into the oven Now my wings is all done and seasoned, I'm going to set aside and move on to the next step. Here I have a large red bell pepper and an onion, a medium sized onion. Feel free to use any bell pepper mixture you like. So I'm just going to go ahead, remove the core of the bell pepper and I'm going to slice this up into some small pieces. Because I'm going to go ahead and add this to my turkey um, baking tray once I'm done. You could cut it as small or as large as you like. It doesn't really matter. So just make sure you just cut it up into your desired size and shape. Once I'm done slicing my onions, I'm just going to use my fingers just to separate it. Um, it's not really necessary, but it's going to break apart in the oven while it's cooking. But you just want to separate them so you could cover more surface area. Now I'm just going to go ahead and place that bell pepper and onion mixture on my turkey wings. You want to start to get them under the turkey wings. But if you had seasoned your turkey in a different pan, you could just go ahead, layer the bell peppers on the onion on the bottom of that baking tray before you place the turkey in. But I seasoned it in this pan. We are trying to use it less utensils here in the kitchen. So I went ahead, seasoned it here, and I'm just trying to, you know, um, kind of force them underneath the turkey wings. So when the turkey bake, that drippings will go down into those onion and peppers and flavor them so nicely so you just want to go ahead and assort them until you're all done now here i have some butter i'm just going to go ahead and place a piece of butter on each turkey wings you could add as much butter or as little as you like this is about a half a tablespoon of butter now i'm going to add a little bit of water to the bottom just to help the steaming process it's going to make liquid but we don't want it to burn because this is going to be in the oven for one hour at 375 degrees before i show you what i do next so into the oven for one hour after one hour, this is what our turkey is looking like. As you can see, it has made a lot of turkey stock or turkey juice, whatever you want to call it. Yes, and this is what we're going to use to thicken our sauce to make our smothered turkey wings. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove some of the liquid from the turkey majority because I'll be using this to make a slurry for my wings. I'm just going to set that aside. So here in my mixing jar, I have about two tablespoons of water and one seasoned cube. Now this cold water is to dissolve the flour so it doesn't get lumpy. So in with about two tablespoons of flour and I'm going to mix well until the flour is fully dissolved. Then I'm going to go ahead and add that turkey stock 
to the mixture that way we don't have a lumpy mixture and i'm going to go ahead mix well and i'm going to pour that sauce back onto my turkey wings into my same 375 degree oven for an additional 40 minutes until the sauce is nice and thick and the turkey has this beautiful color that we are looking for so you want your turkey wings to not only taste delicious but look so appetizing so i'm just going to pour the mixture in and it's going to go back into the oven uncovered for 40 minutes After 40 minutes, this is what my turkey wing is looking like. Let me tell you, this is smelling amazing at this point and that sauce is just thick enough. As it sits, it will get a little bit thicker so you don't want to allow it to reduce too much in the oven. And once your turkey is fully cooked and falling off the bone, you know your turkey is ready. I just went ahead and add some parsley flakes on top just for a little bit of greenery and freshness and for presentation purposes and let me tell you this turkey wing was so good you have to try this recipe and when you try this recipe let me know how it turns out i will leave a full written recipe of all that i use down below so now let's get into this turkey it is falling off the bone it is so tender and delicious guys this recipe is a must try it was so good Now guys, let me show you how I serve this up. I just simply serve this up with some mashed potato, nothing too fancy. This wanted nothing more or nothing less. And I add my turkey wings on top and I poured on that delicious smothered gravy sauce. And let me tell you guys, this was to die for. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead, hit that subscription button. I'll really appreciate you guys that's it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye bye